studio. They pay me to say that. Fios One News anchor Stone Grissom. He's going to have all the returns from our Fios One Election Watch Center and our senior political correspondent Andrew Whitman. He'll provide in-depth analysis. Let's get right to it. It is just after seven and the polls have just closed in Virginia. Stone, what do we got there so far? Well, Rich, this is one of two states with a gubernatorial set up for grabs. Uh, it'll be interesting how the party spin this. It is interesting because Virginia is typically a red state. It turned blue with Obama. I think Chris Christie, if you were to look at him a year ago, he wasn't the most attractive candidate. No one would have thought that he would be pulling the type of numbers that he has. I think Republican I, in name I, only. I yeah. think you can also say Thompson's problem is, is that Bloomberg's very popular and he's very popular with President Obama. I mean, Bloomberg's been to the White House twice. President Obama has actually called him an outstanding mayor. Former Mayor Ed Koch even s described their relationship as synonymous with LaGuardia and uh, FDR. Yeah. In fact, we're going to try and show the clo a clip in a little bit. Let's go to those returns, and to Stone Grissom we go with Virginia numbers. That's right. The polls have been closed for about an hour now, and we've already been ready to call this rate. And the unemployment rate in New Jersey, the highest in the region, near 10%. I'm right. sorry. And I think it's important just to follow up on what you just said about where those votes will go for the Daggett supporters, or originally the Daggett supporters when he was polling at such high numbers. Because, um, Stone, we were talking before about Long Island, mm -hmm. and you mentioned before, they touched on it, the coattails. Ten nines, the county legislature, and right. nobody knows which way this thing could go at the end. And it's kind of important if the Democrats retain majority or not. Um, it depends who the county executive is going to work with. I, exactly, and I think it has a lot to do with how the property tax issue is going to is going to play out. Certainly, the lighthouse project. I mean, it's kind of been put on hold. This really hasn't been a factor in this particular race so far. First. Let's get to those Jersey numbers and Stone break them down for us. All again. right, right now we were at 14 percent. We're now at 18 percent reporting at this particular time, and right now we have 52 percent. Christie is staying steady, but it'll be interesting to see how the GOP reacts and how this affects nationally the Obama administration, his ability to work with Congress. And I don't know what you call, you know, um, Bloomberg other than Rhino he, and a billionaire. He's, he's never criticized the stimulus plan, and and, no. and he certainly has accepted the money. Uh, wholeheartedly uh, from, from the Obama administration. He's pro-gay, he's pro-gun control, the Daggett effect. Stone, uh, recap here, because right before you went out, you said we're... Uh, yeah, we're at 58% yeah. right now. Let's see how that happens. You know, what's interesting is that Chris Daggett earlier had publicly said that if he lost, which I don't think that was a big question, but if he lost, that he predicted that John Corzine would win the race. Yep. In fact, so. even how he did that, he goes 23rd uh, race here. And again, uh, Stone, we got about 17% reporting, right? That's right. And it looks like right now we have uh, Owens with a 51% lead. And he's now, the Democrat, right? He's the Democrat right now. That's an interesting uh, polling right there. 70% still early on. Here, Stone uh, catches up to date here. Obviously, in New Jersey, we know the winner. That's right. We, let's, let's recap and update some of those numbers. Of course, the governor has been called in there early. Let's bring in Stone. He's going to catch us up with some updates, including some New York results here, and a couple of these of particular interest, depending on the county you live in. We've raised his people with both Long Island and Westchester have been waiting on. And that 23rd congressional district, That's again, interesting some new race. numbers. We'll look for that as well. But. Tell everybody what we do know, really, in short, in New Jersey, they're going to have a new governor. They're going to have a new and governor, and um, pretty much the incumbents, it's not a good night for them right now. So the evening, I we'll take see. tiny exception with what Mike said. If I'm Tom Swazi and I win by 200 votes, I don't want to recount. <laughs> 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 I think it's been a long night even for Mike, but uh, the night out, um, I'll start with you, Stone. Um, what was your takeaway from tonight? I think the takeaway for me was that uh, predict the un unpredictable. I mean, you have Obama campaigning for some, a very popular president. He has slipped in the polls, but he's still above 50 percent. He's at 54 in the latest sure. polling. Uh, he stumped for Corzine. Uh, former President Bill Clinton, wildly popular. Uh, Vice President Joe Biden is stumping for him. None of that helped him at all. It was really, uh, the issues were local. Even though you can look at this at a global level, the issues stayed local and the the voters really spoke no, out about, about change. Taxes. And I don't think yep. they cared what the change was. It yep. was just that change needed to happen and get the guys out of office. Andrew? 